even before the game is out, Reverse 1999 just makes good decisions. <laughs> The, the changes they have made after the CBT, and also the game comes out in two weeks, which is why they probably made these changes. They publicly released on Twitter a lot of the adjustments that they have made to the game. And before we go any further, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you're going to be playing Reverse 1999 or if you're just a Hoyo slave. Reverse 1999 is a turn-based gacha game. It's kind of chibi in a sense if you haven't heard of it before until this video. In that case, Hi, I'm going to be streaming this game every single day over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Maximum Gacha. Yeah, now I gotta plug it. And reverse 1999 streams will start, obviously, when the game comes out, October 26th. Anyway, look, that's enough plugging. Let's, let's really dive into the reverse 1999 adjustments. So when it's day one, we can talk about the re-rolling system. Because that's what I really want to speak about. So for those who aren't really privy to Gacha games, they've only really played the mainstream ones like a Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, those kind of games. I'm kind of aiming this more Genshin players sort of thing. But re-rolling is when you first launch an account, you play through the tutorial, and then you get your free temple and then if you don't like that temple you can cancel that and play it all through again do your temple again until you get the standard banner characters you want it's kind of it's kind of an exploit in a sense for most games but it doesn't really affect anything it doesn't it doesn't cause any problems you're not going to get in trouble for doing it and if anything the patch notes that they have made on their twitter account kind of lean towards hey you should re-roll so yeah now that you have the basic premise of what re-rolling is you can understand how it could probably take a bit because tutorial systems in gacha games are really long like really long they take forever sometimes it might even take you up to 20 minutes to get through the base tutorial of how to play the game to you know get your first summon to get your first summoning session but reverse 1999 has changed that so what they have done is as you can see on the screen right now there was a question about the mandatory star tutorial can be tedious is there a way to get around this so i can start playing asap and what they changed was receive feedback on the long star tutorial and made the following improvements for the official launch added a feature to skip each chapter in the prologue now you can simply tap the skip button to view chapter summaries which obviously slices the time down almost in half because dialogue in the intros so most of the time is unskippable because it wants to kind of let you down it kind of wants to like let you delve into a world of what the game is and now they're just like hey you want to play the gameplay you want to gamble skip it we don't care and they also said they moved the battle speed feature at to an earlier stage in the cbt you must clear stage first 06 to unlock the feature whereas in the official launch the whereas in the official launch the feature becomes available once you start first 01 so off rip as opposed to kind of clearing halfway through the first chapter after, you can just go auto mode. You can just go auto or you can go times two speed. Pretty sure it's times two speed what they're addressing here. And also they move the end of the mandatory tutorial to an earlier stage. In the CBT, you must clear stage first 04 before you can perform any operations as you want. For the official launch, this has been improved. You can start doing anything you like after you clear stage first 01. So as soon as you clear the literal first stage you get when you launch the game, you're free to go. You're good to play. You can do whatever you damn well please. And last but not least, move the availability to the move the availability of the homepage event, character, and summon systems. That's what we want. To after you've cleared stage first 01. So that you can have a glimpse of the features beyond the main story earlier. Track of the refresh time. This feature will become available on the official launch. So as soon as the game comes out, pretty much you play chapter one, you can do your first bunch of summoning sessions see if you like what you get if not close the game restart it and you'll be good to go genuinely huge w from them they understand that hey some people want to get the rng out of the way for at least one or two characters they kind of have somewhat control in getting huge props to them also it's not really the whole point of the video but i want to mention as well they did add two voice options so originally it was just english and japanese in the beta but now it's English, Japanese, simplified Chinese, Chinese, and Korean, which is a huge W. I don't think it says anywhere that they will be adding more languages down the line. I don't think they will. Not really many games have more than that, unless unless they want to do it different because, hey, they've already gone leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else in terms of their voice acting because they literally get people to the voice acting from the continents in which they are from. Maybe down the line, we will probably see that. Who who knows? Who knows? I'm, I'm kind of spitballing here. I'm kind of guessing. And now you've probably seen in the title of the video, how do you get a free five-star on release? No, it wasn't clickbait. No, I'm not lying to you. The way you get, the way you get a five-star on release is... You pre-reg. You pre-register. Who would have thought, eh? That <laughs> wouldn't have been me. I, what? And you might be like, oh, you know, they haven't cleared goal one mil. Let's be real. The game is two weeks away. They will clear a mil. 
They went from 100k to 500k inside like three days. And they're only paying more people to do advertised sponsored content for it. So the game's only getting bigger, kind of like a snowball just rolling around, getting bigger and bigger right before release. And then it's going to hopefully explode from there. The game could have a very niche fan base where it will, o it will only be known to a certain cult following. I'll be in that cult following, but I kind of hope that's not what happens. I, I, I really have ambitions for this game to just like to be popular to be a game that every other person in the gacha space plays or at least plays casually but yeah ultimately i have high hopes for this game i hope a lot of people do get into it if not more for me i ain't gonna really complain but yeah that's really been it if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and tell me what you're really excited for for reverse 1999 and apologies for the short video uh kind of biding my time until the best gacha game of the year comes up you couldn't tell i'm referring to reverse but yeah that's kind of been it i don't want to take up any more time out of your day i've been max so i'm gonna head out see ya